Hello, and welcome to Book Bites, presented by the Longmont Public Library. My name is Josie, and I am an adult services librarian. Today, I am going to recommend a few books um, in the true crime genre. Uh, the first book that I am currently reading at home is Gone at Midnight by Jack Anderson. This book covers the mysterious and tragic death of Elisa Lamb. She was a young Canadian woman who was visiting California on vacation, um, and she, her body was found in the water tank on the roof of the infamous Cecil Hotel. Um, so beyond just recounting uh, the facts of the case, Jake also adds personal insights about his own struggle with mental illness, which he did share with Elisa. Um, I'm halfway through this book and have enjoyed reading it for the most part. Um, he does dive into some strange theories that deal with ghosts and psychics and possible evil hotel entities, um, which I personally find a little distracting um, and not terribly necessary, but um, he goes into those things. Uh, but overall, it's a, it's a well-written book, it's easy to follow, and it's enjoyable. And it's a very strange case. Um, I'm going to recommend three other books that I do not have here with me, but that I have read and really enjoyed. Uh, so the first is called I'll Be Gone in the Dark um, by the late Michelle McNamara. It documents her obsessive hunt for the Golden State Killer, who uh, was actually finally apprehended in 2018, um, two years after Michelle died, using um, genetic genealogy. Um, the book was excellent. It was written mostly by her, uh, but also written by friends of hers because she died before she finished it. Um, it looks into her obsession with the case and her ability to use the computer, the internet, um, and contacts with the police departments um, to try and find out who this killer was. And unfortunately she never did before she died. Um, the fact that it was published posthumously makes it uh, very poignant and adds to its urgency. It was very good. Um, and I heard that HBO is going to be doing a documentary on it. Um, another one that I really enjoyed is called A False Report. It's by T. Christian Miller and Ken Armstrong. They're both journalists and they wrote a short article that won the Pulitzer Prize about the, the subject that becomes the book. Um, it was also published in 2018. The title, it follows the case uh, with two female detectives, uh, one of whom was in Colorado, who are trying to uh, apprehend a serial rapist. And while that part of the story is very interesting, the real uh, meat of the story and that makes a real impact is about how women are sometimes treated in the criminal justice system after rape or other sexual type trauma um, and who may not act or appear the way we think they should after something like this um, and how they're treated and the damage that gets inflicted on them after the initial horrible act. Um, this was also turned into a Netflix series and it's called Unbelievable and it's excellent and I suggest you watch that too after reading the book. The last book that I'll recommend is, is a strange one. Um, it's called An Unexplained Death by Makita Brockman, and it was published in 2018. And it follows the case of a body um, that was felled, that was found that fell through the roof in the Belvedere Hotel, which is in Baltimore. Um, and Brockman delves into her obsession with this case and kind of gives a creepy, strange history of the hotel and what's happened there, kind of like the Cecil Hotel. Um, this book is kind of strange uh, because Brotman is all over the place with her topics. She'll ta be talking one chapter about suicide, she'll be talking another chapter about voyeurism, and then there's like a whole chapter on rats. Um, but it's all really fascinating. She writes really well. And um, the effect of the whole, it's like you're inside someone's mind as their thoughts are pinging around in there. Um, I, I think it's one of my favorite books. Um, some people probably don't like it because it's not a terribly clear f clear narrative, um, but I thought it was fantastic. So uh, those are the ones I would suggest that you check out if you like true crime. 
Um, and I hope you enjoyed this genre review. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.